Greetings viewers, for today's Halloween project we're making tombstones. They start with just a scrap piece of plywood or whatever you have at home, similar to what I have here. I don't even know what the dimensions are but I will uh, find that out. I'll show you what they are in a minute. Okay, uh, the approximate shapes and sizes I'm going to be using uh, rectangular shapes for the most part and I'm making eight of these. I've done four. They're approximately about 24 by 15, although they do vary in height slightly because I want them a little bit random. So uh, this one here before I cut it measures about 24, 15 and they all do. Um, so I've got one, pardon me, I'll have uh, about four with just the, uh, I call it the dome shape, okay? And then I'm gonna make an additional four with just this little uh, notch or whatever you'd like to call that in it, okay? So next step is to, uh, to cut these out. So I'll cut, a few out and I'll show you what it looks like okay guys this is basically what they look like when they're cut out just as they were drawn shapes and sizes I just randomly drew with the uh, protractor old bowls and compasses whatever I found to get the shape that I like so it's an artist interpretation thing do what you want uh, basically that's how you decorate them too so I've also taken a, a sander with 80 grit paper and I've gone around all the edges, front and back, just to smooth over any uh, pieces that might be loose, knock them all off. I haven't sanded any of the plywood, I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna um, just hit this all with uh, a gray primer, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Okay guys, then you'll have uh, something that looks like this, just randomly painted, okay? it's just. Uh, Whatever spray paints I had around the house, there's uh, automotive primer, there's a little bit of blue in there. Heck, there's even a little bit of red. I just used up old cans, whatever I had, just to get rid of them. Okay, this is just a primer coat. You don't have to do this. You can just go on it with your top coat, okay? But I chose to do this because I'm gonna use this uh, flex paint. I'll show you that next. And it helps me uh, give better coverage. And uh, the reason I use wood is because I'm going to be adding these to my animated uh, light show. So I can't usually use the styrofoam because I can't uh, bolt my lights to it and uh, all that sort of stuff. But I can put the uh, styrofoam, uh, like a lot of the other guys do, in the back after I'm done. So um, I'll just keep going with the process, show you how I'm building what I'm doing for my light show. And we'll go with that. So this primer, paint, whatever you want to call this mixture, has to cure now. So uh, I'm going to wait for that to dry. And then I'll come back to you with the uh, top coat of, uh, I believe it's called Flex. It's quite expensive. It's uh, about $12 a can. But uh, I usually get about four tombstones out of one can. So um, when this dries, I'll come back to you. I'll show you the material, and we'll do that next. Okay, guys. Next up, I'm going to be uh, spray painting the uh, tombstone shapes with this stuff here. It's just a... Uh, Speckle stone, it's made by Excel, which is basically at any uh, hardware store or Home Depot, what have you. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, I'll paint these stones up and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, guys, here's uh, one of them that I've done up. Um, the hole that you see before you in, in front of is uh, just for a light that I'm gonna be adding through the backside. So, unless you're adding lights and stuff like that, just obviously disregard that. So, basically, you uh, just paint the tombstone, give it a base coat, and you're pretty much done. And you do that to however many you're making. Okay, in this case I've made eight, but I'm showing four today. The other four are complete. And uh, once the paint's dry, you start decorating as you feet see fit. It's, uh, this is open to artist interpretation. And I'm not gonna really tell you how to do that. You just do what you think looks good. I will show you what I'm doing as soon as the paint's dry though. So uh, in a few minutes or whatever the, the cure time is, I can't have to read it. Um, I'll get back to you and I'll just start randomly dropping things on uh, these tombstones to show you kind of what I'm doing here. All right, so we'll see you then. Okay guys, here we go again. Anyways, uh, that's what it looks like so far. We've got uh, these letters here. I just buy these from the dollar store. You can uh, use a stencil and draw them on too, but I just buy these pre-made uh, letters made of wood dollar store I paint them in the color that I chose this is like a deep uh, mahogany color could be black would be probably better but this is what I had on hand and I'm just uh, buying or building terry, um, miscellaneous items that I think might look nice so on this one here I've got the cross I'm gonna paint that and I'll center it and, and uh, attach that uh, similar cross on the other tombstone 
and uh, we go forward from there and then I'll be attaching some lights and uh, things of that nature around the outside. So what I'll do is I'll decorate one or two of these up first and then I'll come back to you and show you kind of like what my finished product is going to be. See you then. Okay guys, here's a sample of two of uh, my completed ones. I mean I could keep going but uh, you got to call it quits sometimes. Anyways, here's one with uh, basically around the outside perimeter I've got some uh, Halloween lights and uh, a little bit of a different uh, stone finish I tried on this one but uh, you get the idea so that's one and the one beside it I'm going to put lights on it but I just wanted to show you what this one looks like in case everybody wants to try something without lights just like this basically they're the same uh, two different finishes and uh, that's about it so uh, thanks for looking happy Halloween